Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 25 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case showing undegraded sexual reentry for recanalizing a circumflex CTO. The patient had a CTO of the proximal circumflex. The distal vessel was supplied by ipsilateral bridging collaterals as well as some epicardial collaterals, and the distal cap was at the bifurcation of the very large obtuse marginal branch that seemed to be the dominant branch, as well as the distal circumflex. Circumflex CTOs are considered harder than more cases. In the progress CTO registry, success was about 10 points less for circumflex CTOs than it was for LAD CTOs. So in this case, we have a tapered proximal entry to the CTO. Occlusion is about 20 millimeters long. However, there is a bifurcation of the distal cap and there are poor ipsilateral collaterals not um, very favorable for doing the retrograde approach. So the plan here was to perform undegraded dissection reentry in the hopes of recanalizing into the distal true lumen. This is the crossbow catheter that was brought to the proximal cap. And then the fast spin technique was performed with wrapping spinning. You can see the guide catheter is slowly backing up during attempts to advance. The key for this is actually the speed more so than the forward push. And then eventually with um, being patient, there is a release and the cross pose advances further down. Before anything further is done, we perform an injection to determine whether the cross pose is following the course of the vessel. One of the main concerns being that if the cross pose enters a small side branch, that can cause perforation. However, here it looks like the cross pose is all the way to the distal cap and is indeed dancing with the distal vessel. A workhorse wire was advanced and the wire actually went easily into the uh, distal circumflex. That was confirmed with a repeat injection. However, the challenge here is that the superior branch, the obtuse marginal, is the largest, more important branch. So we still have to re-enter and recanalize into this branch, which can be a challenge for using undergraded sexual re-entry in lesions with bifurcation of the distal cap. Sometimes one can wire using a dual lumen microcatheter or a separate microcatheter like in this case. So Sion blue wire was used in an attempt to enter into the OM, but that was not successful. And finally, the decision was to, made, uh, to make a re-entry attempt using the Stingray system. The Stingray catheter was advanced to the proximal cap and then the stick was done on both sides with the Stingray wire. And then that was changed for a polymer jacketed Pilot 200 guide wire to attempt re-entry. So the Pilot 200 is advanced, trying to select the port that faces into the true lumen. And now the wire is facing up and then there is a release and the wire is advancing distally, which is very uh, favorable and suggests potential crossing. That was confirmed with contralateral injection. The lesion was predilated, kissing balloon inflation was done. And then the wire into the distal circumflex was jailed during deployment of a 3O by 38 mm drug diluting stand. Pot was done after confirming that there was flow into the distal circumflex. And a nice final result was achieved with um, TIMI3 flow into the first obtuse marginal branch. In summary, there are several lessons from this case. The first one is that for lesions with bifurcation of the distal cap, keeping the patency of both branches is desirable. That can be sometimes a challenge if undergraded sexual reentry is used, because that may lead to subintimal crossing and occlusion of one of the branches when balloon and stand is performed. In this particular case, the cross pause allowed true to true crossing into the distal circumflex. However, to recanalize the large obtuse marginal branch, stingray based reentry was required. And finally, when uh, there is bifurcation standing, jailing the wire of the side branch, especially when the section reentry techniques are used, as in this case, can maximize the likelihood of maintaining the patency of the jail branch because if there is a problem, there is access to the vessel facilitating rewiring or performance of balloon inflations. Thank you very much.